Lovers, it's Janie and welcome to another video on my channel. This is the, I guess you can call it an unbagging video, even though not all the dolls are in bags, but um, I suppose you could call it the unbagging video to the flea market vlog that I uploaded last week. Um, I will be giving you like a closer look at all the things I actually ended up going home with because a lot of the um, footage I took you couldn't really tell what I ended up picking up and a lot of times I kind of just go to the flea market and see what there is before I buy anything because it'll most likely still be there at the end of the day and I don't want to spend all my money at the beginning and then go to a booth where they have a bunch of things and I've spent all my money. So in a lot of that footage, I didn't actually pick up the dolls that immediately because I wanted to see what else there was and then I doubled back. So um, I'm going to be showing you all of the dolls that I got. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my best to kind of do it a little bit in order of like what of when I found it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. And the very first booth that you see when when I walked in um, was this one booth that didn't really have a lot of dolls or anything. Um, and I actually went with my mom. It was for Mother's Day, um, even though this might not be uploaded um, close to Mother's Day. But it was for Mother's Day and I went with my mom. And so my mom was talking to the seller um, and I saw that she had a little wicker basket with both of these girls in it. They were the only dolls that were in the basket. And I do have this one already, but I definitely don't have this girl. I have the brunette version, but this is the AA one of the 1997 Happy Holidays Barbie. And I was very, very interested in her. And um, long to make a long story short, she asked me um, how much I would take for her. And I initially said seven dollars, um, but she originally did not want to let her go for that price because um, she was convinced that the um, like going right for this doll was much higher. But I pulled up like an eBay listing of the doll in box and showed her um, that even though holiday Barbies are very very nice and they are like from the 90s, they aren't necessarily rare. They did make a ton of them. And they can be found pretty easily in good condition for decently cheap online. So um, I was talking to her about that and I actually talked to her about my channel. So if you're watching, hi, I am so, so excited to have both of your dolls. But she told me that these were two dolls that she had in her own collection, that they were the two that she bought because she always wanted Barbie. So she bought two of them. And I ended up buying both of these for $20 together. Um, she wanted me to take both of them together, not just the one that I didn't have. So I'm gonna start with the one that I already do have. Um, she's a very, very beautiful doll. Um, and the one that I have is also close to complete. So I guess I have two now that are um, super close to being complete, um, which I am not mad about. Um, I'm sure that I can definitely display her and I'm very very excited to have her and like they're they're complete like they have all of their stuff she essentially just got taken out of the package and put on a stand and put in a little bag um, and that was the lady said she said yeah they haven't even been played with I literally just took them out and brought them here so um I'm gonna try and go through kind of quick but we have this beautiful girl her shoes keep falling off but she has little black shoes um, but she's complete I don't remember what year she's from, but she's one of the Happy Holidays Barbie. She has her whole stand and everything, um, which is really, really cool. But she's absolutely gorgeous. She has the Mackie face mold. She has this very elaborate um, updo with like little curls by her face. And she has this gorgeous black glittery dress with like a pink shawl. She's very, very stunning. And I really like her. Um, it's exciting to have another one. And then the next one is the one that I was initially interested in um, because I don't have her and she's the African-American variant, which I really, really love finding those. Um, and I'm always looking to make my Happy Holidays collection more complete and more diverse. But um, she's tied up in this bag. If I can get the bag open, there we go. Okay, so I am absolutely stoked about her. Okay, so here she is. She's absolutely stunning. Both of her shoes fell off, but she has these little red heels. 
Um, but she's stunning. She has her stand and everything. It's gold. This is what her stand looks like. And she is beautiful. She has the classic big red dress. And it's very, very elaborate, very beautiful. She has like lace details on it. Um, and there's lots of gold and she has her underskirt still and everything and her hair is in pretty good condition. Um, she obviously has just been unboxed and displayed, but I still am probably going to have to do a little bit of maintenance on it. Just brush it and curl it and redo it. But she is absolutely stunning and I'm very, very excited to have her. She's beautiful. I love her earrings and her necklace and her little tiara. I think that... Um, she's absolutely gorgeous and I'm so excited to have her and add her to my collection. I will need to take care of her elastics though because they are dry rotting and crumbling off. Um, gonna need to wash her ASAP but I am very very excited to have her. And then next okay so this doll I actually saw the first time I went to the flea market back around Valentine's Day when I did the first vlog and I ended up leaving her behind because I had already spent a lot of money that day and I just couldn't justify buying something else. But I was hoping and praying that she would still be there. There were two things that I was really hoping for that would still be there. This doll and there was a brass key doll that I went and looked for, um, but unfortunately she wasn't still there. But this one was, and this is the Wedding Cinderella made by Mattel. Absolutely stunning. She was being sold for 35, but I got her for 25. Uh, which 25 in box is a pretty good deal, especially because the box is not really in that bad of shape at all. So this is made by Mattel when Mattel was making Disney dolls and this is celebrating the 45th anniversary. And she was made, I don't see her, oh, she was made in 1995, that's her box date. And she's absolutely stunning. Now I know all of you collectors are going to cringe, but I am going to unbox her. And if you haven't seen my other videos before, I am mainly an out of box collector because I feel I can appreciate the dolls more when they're out of box. I have no space to keep all of my dolls that I find boxed in the box. And three, it also, uh, taking them out of the box prevents more rapid, um, like disintegrating of and dry rotting and just lack of oxygen can cause the dolls to decay faster in the box. Um, I've seen it a lot of times where they have begun to like dry rot or their legs are starting to get sticky because the plastic is starting to decompose because they are not out in the open with airflow and oxygen and all of that. So I am going to unbox her, but um, I'm gonna try and go through pretty quick and I'm gonna take her out of the box and I'm really, really excited. So here she is and she is absolutely stunning. I am so, so excited to have her. I don't have a lot of these older Mattel Disney dolls that especially that are like more collectors ones and she's absolutely stunning. She's wearing this almost pearlescent white wedding dress. It's got major puff sleeves and she also has little gloves on and she has a bouquet with white, light pink, and pale blue flowers and little streamers coming off of it. Her hair has tinsel in it and it's actually in pretty good shape. It's still in its style. And she has this beautiful veil on and I really love her little pearl necklace and matching earrings. She's gorgeous. She also is wearing um, these like kind of tights with her little garter and then a pair of translucent um, kind of glittery glass slippers. She's absolutely stunning and I'm so excited to have her. She also comes with a comb, of course, and a stand. And as you can see, here's the stand. Very, very nice. So I got her, I went back and I was praying that she would still be there and she was, and I got her for 25 instead of 35, which was nice of the lady to give me the deal off and I'm very, very excited to have her. The next two dolls that I got, I got for their pieces. I got these two Rainbow High first edition. Um, this is Sunny and this is Poppy. I got um, this Sunny doll because the one that I have, um, one of her earrings broke and this one has um, one of, she has an earring that I can use to replace. And um, I bought them both for a deal. They were both $7 a piece and I got them, I think, both for ten dollars maybe um 
it was a really good deal and she's got like a lot of her outfit which is really cool so I was very happy to get her um she's in pretty good shape um but I mostly got her for her pieces and then um this one I also got for her pieces I got this doll off of Facebook marketplace um back around Christmas time and mine was missing most of her first um like original outfit like she only had her jacket and shoes and didn't have her top or her skirt. So I bought this doll for that, um, but she's still very beautiful. She's my favorite of the first edition dolls and I think she's gorgeous. I'm not gonna take too much time on her just because I um, am not adding her to my collection. I'm just, um, I'm either going to rehome her um, or trade her. And so I'm gonna just move quickly on. After that, um, I'm going to show you guys the other box dolls that I got, I think. There was a booth that is also very, very close to the um, like entrance of the flea market where they have a bunch of like pretty current box dolls. You do have to be careful with that because you have to make sure that they're not being sold for more than retail. But um, all of their box dolls were 30% off and then I also got another thing there for a pretty decent price. So um, the first doll that I got um, for 30% off, but originally $25, but 30% off of that. So a pretty good deal. Um, was this doll. I have never seen these before. They're called glow up girls. And this one character's name is Alex. I think she's really, really cool. I love like the face. It looks like she's got articulation. I really like the artwork and it looks like she comes with like a bunch of like extra stuff. And there's like other dolls in the line that are listed on the side, but I was just very fascinated by these dolls. I don't know what they are, but it looks like they're for like customization. So they have like a little bit of like decorations for like nails and like gems to put in her hair and things like that. And um, I just thought she was really, really cool. She was the only one of the like line that they had. And I saw her last time and I was really interested in her, but I didn't get anything from that seller um, just because there were a lot of box dolls and I had spent a ton of money so I'm very excited. Um, let me know more about this line if you guys um, know, but I am going to go ahead and take her out of the box without further ado. Okay, so she is out and I really, really like this doll. She is really pretty. I love her facial screening and her face mold and she has kind of an articulated body. She has articulation at the elbow and wrist, not at the knee but she does have ankle articulation. So that's kind of interesting that she has ankle, but no knee. But either way, she seems to be like a pretty heavy, like sturdy doll. She's a little bit shorter. She stands around the height of like a rainbow high doll, maybe a little bit smaller. Um, so definitely not Barbie height, a little smaller, but she is super fun. I really like her. She has her hair in two buns and she has blue streaks in her bangs. She has nylon hair that is brown with a few little like blue streaks on the inside. Um, she has silver earrings, a really cool green jacket with a blue and white crop top with a black mesh shirt underneath. And it looks like all of these shirts are like, um, this shirt is together, so it's not black and then the white, but the jacket is separate from the shirt. And then she's got a pair of like pleather feeling black and blue shorts, and then a pair of really fun blue boots with a lightning bolt on them. I think that this is super, super cool. And the clothes feel like pretty good detail, like not rainbow high quality, but definitely like pretty solid quality doll, which is really cool. And I think that she's really, really neat. And I'm very, very excited to have her. And she comes with a bunch of stuff. The first thing that she comes with are these interesting little plastic pieces. I don't know what they're for, but they're here and they seem to have like little things that you can pop out, but I don't know what they're for. So I don't wanna mess with those too much. There's also just like a little pamphlet that talks about like how to like play with the doll. There's like steps for how to change her look, which is fun. Um, so then there's a bunch of like extra accessories um, and I haven't opened those yet cause I wanna open them with you guys, but it looks like this might be a pair of shoes, maybe. It's wrapped in tissue paper. I knew that she came with a bunch of extra stuff. That's kind of why I came with, um, why I was willing to get it for $25. So she has socks too. She has a fun pair of socks that are like a peachy color with like lightning bolts on them. Very, very fun. And then she has an extra pair of shoes, which is really cool. I love dolls that come with extra stuff. Um, so she comes with an extra pair of white sneakers, with green stars, very neat. Um, and then this little package, which says glitter and gleam. I don't know what that is, but we'll find out. Oh, there's earrings. Oh, there's accessories. That's so fun. Okay, so she's got extra accessories. 
there's like it's really hard to tell but they're little lightning bolt earrings one is shorter and one is longer and then a lightning bolt ring very very cool so she comes with earrings and she gets an extra set of earrings I love that okay I'm gonna put all of that in this little box so it doesn't get lost because I'm afraid that that will happen so I'm gonna put this stuff in this little box for now um, all the things I've gotten so far and then there's like another little package right here um, it has an A on it um, I think for the Nick character named Alex but I don't know what is inside and I'm quite excited I don't know how it opens though I think it might just open from the oh it's like a zipper so you pull it's like a pull tab very neat okay and then on the inside of that there is some more accessories that we have looks like there's a comb there's like multiple things in here oh my gosh this is so fun okay so there is a comb which is pink um with little stars on it and then there looks to be i think this is makeup i don't know i don't know if it comes apart yeah it does come apart you kind of have to get it started it's a little stuck at first but it's like a little bit of like nail polish i think you're supposed to like paint her nails and i think if you fill it with water then it changes color so that's really cool comes with that it also comes with these little stickers i think they're for like her hair and then these other stickers which there's a ton there's like ones on this side which are like bigger and then ones on this side which are smaller so cute i probably won't decorate the doll with these because they're just more problems than they're worth but very very cool that she comes with so many stickers and then last but not least there's this really fun shopping bag which says babe boutique the perfect purse awaits something it might be a purse maybe this is so fun i have never gotten these dolls before and i had second thoughts about getting hurt but i'm really glad i didn't because i'm really enjoying this so it comes with like tissue paper yes it's accessories there is a pink purse very very cute with like a silver front and then a pair of pink sunglasses very very cool love this doll line would love to get more i'm very excited to have this one though um but yeah i'm gonna move on i got these two girls for 12 dollars a piece but they were also both 30 percent off i saw both of these dolls last time and they're from a netflix show called over the moon i have absolutely no idea what it's about but i thought that these dolls were just really really cool looking i thought they had gorgeous faces and i really liked the uniqueness of like the face mold and the dolls and there are only two dolls in the line which are these two um they're each other is advertised on the back and I got both of them for 30% off but or $12 and I just bought them because I just thought they were really cool I didn't know anything about the show um but this one I love her hair um and I love her outfit and this one just looks super super fun um so I'm going to go ahead and take them out of the box okay so i got them both out and one is like way shorter than the other um i'm gonna start with the one that caught my eye back when i first saw them and i just think she's really really cool she has hair that's fully rooted okay so i think this is really cool so i was concerned that this was attached to her head like it was molded and then she just had like extra hair hanging from the bottom but it is a headpiece that fully comes off and she has a full head of hair underneath even though this is also supposed to be part of the hairdo which i really appreciate because if you're not going to make all of it like her actual hair i'm glad it's not like half and half that this is just like an attachment so that's good i love her face so this just proves to show that you don't need to know anything about the doll you're buying to buy it and just appreciate it and love it because I think that she's gorgeous. She's wearing this really fun pink to yellow gradient dress, which is super like sci-fi and fun. She has articulation at the elbow and at the knee. They're made by Mattel, by the way. Um, I checked that out. And she's wearing these really fun platform blue heels. But she's just a really cool doll. And for, you know, for 30% off of $12, I think that's a pretty good deal. And I don't know what they go for in stores. You kind of have to be careful with buying box dolls secondhand because if they're brand new, um, you want to make sure you're not paying more than retail. But I don't think that I was because um, it was on a sale already and it was already a pretty good deal. So I'm very, very happy about her. And then this girl is very, very small. She's about Stacy size. She has like the Stacy like body actually. Like she has the hands and like the body size so her clothes should fit Stacy but she is adorable she has short black hair and these choppy little bangs and she has this very very cute face with minimal makeup 
purple headband, a really fun um, outfit. She's got a striped shirt, which was definitely used by Stacy at some point, um, with a jacket over the top with blue shorts. She has painted black legs and silver boots. She has articulation at the elbow and at the knee, and she's absolutely adorable. And I'm really, really excited to have both of them. Um, there were other dolls that they were selling that I was familiar with, like Shadow High, Barbie Extra, like other Barbie, um, and they had some other stuff as well, um, which I was interested in, but I decided if I was gonna be spending money, I would spend it on dolls I'd never seen before, um, because I'm sure I can find Barbie Extra, you know, one day on sale or in thrift stores, but I wasn't gonna find those, and I was very excited about them. Um, the second doll also comes with the cute little accessories. She comes with this adorable little pet. I don't know what he's supposed to be. He looks maybe like an armadillo, um, I'm not sure, but he's a like neon green color and he's very, very cute. And she also comes with this little backpack, which is blue with a yellow panel on the front and a space helmet, which I think just is supposed to just like pop right over the top of her head. Like, so very, very fun. I might have to check out this show. Um, but the other doll that I got there, they had a few, but not very many unboxed dolls. Um, and I got this beautiful Disney Animator Aurora doll for $12 that is coming off. Goodbye. I have never seen this animator um, before. Um, let me know, you Disney people, is she more rare because she's in her Briar Rose dress? Um, for a lot of the Animator Auroras I've seen, I think I've seen her in her like princess dress. Um, so I'm very, very excited about this one. She was only $12. She was not on sale, but I was willing to pay that much for her. She has everything. She has her headband. She has her dress. She has her shoes. And she is so cute. I don't have her. I have Tinkerbell, Belle, um, a few more. I have other ones. Um, but I have, oh, it's Snow White. I have a few, but I'm very excited because I do not have an Aurora, and I think she's so incredibly cute, and I'm very, very excited to have her. Her hair is in pretty good shape. Um, it's still pretty defined, but there are a lot of knots in it, but that means that um, it hasn't been brushed out yet, which I think will be very, very helpful. But I got her for $12 along with those three other boxed girls, which is very exciting. And then I stumbled across a booth that I actually didn't see last time. It was very tucked away. And I only got two dolls um, on this time around, but in part two, I actually went back and got four more. Um, I got these two girls for $6 for both of them. Um, initially, he wanted, I just picked out this one um, for $5, and I asked if he would take three, and he said yes, and then he said I could pick out another one for six if I wanted, which I was like, sure, why not? So I was already um, kind of interested in this girl, but she was broken, but I decided I was willing to try and risk it. I don't know if her neck peg is still in her head, but I got this, um, this Skipper doll. I don't know which one she is, but I do know I don't have her, but her neck is broken. Um, I know everyone's gonna cringe as I pull her head off um, to see if she has her neck peg still inside. I can't tell if it's still in there, but either way, I am very happy to have liberated her. Um, I'll have to shine a light in there and see, but um, I got them both. They're in pretty good condition. Obviously she's headless or she has her head just not attached. Her hair has been done in this funny little bun. I'm gonna have to take that out, but she has her earrings and besides that, she's in pretty good shape. And um, she's wearing this dress that's not belonged to her, but that's okay. I'm happy to have another outfit. And then she has these red panties underneath very interesting um but then I also got this girl who I'm very excited about I don't believe that I have her she's very very nice and I really liked the dress she was wearing I know it doesn't belong to her but that's why I got it um and her hair is also in this half up half down hairstyle um which is very interesting I think they tried to kind of like fix them a little bit there is a portion of her hair that's been cut but that's okay so I got them both for $6 and I ended up going back to that booth the following day and I got four more dolls. Um, I think the guy who was working the booth this day was the um, like vendor's son because he gave me both of these for $6 and when I went back um, and bought four more, she wanted $7 a piece for them instead of five and um, I was able to work it down. I got four plus a dress and I got all of that for 20, but that was roughly $5 a piece. So she was charging a little bit more. I kind of wish I would have gotten them back when he was still there, but um, that's okay. 
Um, I'm still very happy to have both of these girls. She has her earrings and everything. If you know who she is or if Miss Skipper is, um, let me know in the comments below. Um, but then after that, um, this doll was all by her lonesome. She was in like a gaming booth where they had a bunch of like video games and like Nintendo stuff. Um, but she was all by herself and I got her for $3. It's just this little Disney store, um, Snow White. I bought her because she has her dress and um, I don't know if I have this year, but if I do, I definitely need more Snow White dresses. So for $3, not bad. She is very, very dirty and kind of like crunchy, but she has been mostly like untouched. Like her hair is still gelled and everything. Um, so I'm not mad about that. She's the one who doesn't have like the flat feet. So I don't know what year that makes it, but I'll have to look into her and see. Um, and then the next dolls I got all together, I saw these initially and I asked the person selling them if they would be willing to give me a deal. They wanted $5 a piece and they said no. But, um, so I left and I ended up having a little bit of extra spending money at the end of the, um, at the end of the day. So I went back and bought them. Um, but I saw them and I got these five. There was one more. There was a Mirabelle who I was interested in from Encanto who was there, but, um, I decided to put her down because I'm sure I'll probably find her at their store again. But I was very, very excited about some of these, especially the one I was most excited about is this adorable little Stacy. I have no idea who she is, but she seems to be in pretty good shape. She has shoes on that are molded, which is very interesting. So she has molded shoes, but articulated ankles. She's wearing a red shirt with blue overalls, and she's wearing this random knee pad, which doesn't belong to her. But she's absolutely gorgeous. She has um, little green eyes. She's so cute. I don't know who she is. I don't have her. I don't know anything about her, but I thought she was so fun and I was very, very excited to get her. Her hair is in these little twists. Not too bad. She does have some like dirt stains on her forehead. I was concerned and I thought they were pinpricks, but they're just stains. So I'm very relieved about that. Um, and then next, this Barbie, I don't believe I have her. Um, I checked her earrings just to make sure because I definitely don't believe I have this doll based off of her earrings and I checked to make sure that they were actually hers and unless someone swapped them out without breaking them and pushed them in then um, if you guys can identify this doll let me know but I also really enjoy um, this top that she was wearing um, her hair is in pretty good condition it's obviously supposed to be in a ponytail um, but she is very very pretty just like classic like late 90s Barbie um, she's in pretty good shape she has a ring and everything and then three more that I got. The next one is a little bit newer. Um, I thought she was really cool. She has a, I don't know if her nails are supposed to be painted, but she has pink painted nails. She has this very, very interesting face mold. She has a tiny head, which made me think she was rebodied, but I'm not sure. Um, she's very, very cute. She's wearing this Hasbro Cinderella dress, which doesn't belong to her, but um, that's okay. I can always use more Disney clothes. But she has articulated knees and flat feet. And um, she's very, very cute. I've never seen her before. Um, and I just really liked her face a lot. Very pretty. Um, you got, might be wondering why I'm willing to spend so much money on, you know, dolls like this. But it's like, while I'm there, if I'm going to get a deal for all of them, I might as well. And also, it's like, this is my, like, end of the year splurge. My semester ends, like, in a literal week. And it's kind of my, my present to myself. So... Got her, she's very cute. Her hair is in pretty good condition. And then I got this newer one. I don't know who she is, but I definitely don't think I have her. She's really cool. She has a really nice side eye and she has pink eyeshadow with like green eyeshadow, like close to her lash line. Very, very cool. Her hair is obviously supposed to be in like a ponytail, but she's gorgeous. I don't know if this outfit belongs to her or not, but it is this pink dress. Um, well, it's supposed to be like a top with a skirt and suspenders, but it's all just one piece. Um, and she has like a one bent arm and bend and snap legs. She's very cute. She doesn't have, um, a place for pierced ears. So I'm very fascinated by her. I love the unique like side eye look and I'm very excited to get her. And then the last one, which is the one that, um, attracted me to the little basket that they were in was this girl. She is so beautiful. She has a lot of her stuff. I believe she's wearing her original dress. If not, it suits her very, very well. But it is this like blue ballerina type dress. Her hair is in like perfect condition. It still has like the ribbon on the inside. You can't really see it because her hair is curling over it. But it has its ribbon and everything. 
and she's just really beautiful. She has her tights. Um, the clothes are dirty and definitely need to be washed, but I'm still really excited to have her, and I think that she's gorgeous. So I got those. And then the last three dolls of the day I got, I got from the seller from the last time I went. Now, if you remember, I went to the flea market last time and I bought a bunch of box 90s dolls from a seller who gave me a really, really sweet deal. And I kind of made friends with her. And I went back to her um, very last and she didn't have anything new, but I did buy three more dolls from her just because I wanted to continue to support her. And they were dolls that I don't have that I was considering getting, but didn't because I'd already spent so much money there. So um, I got three more dolls. I got these three. Now, my other Ken doll that I got from her was wrapped like this. And she told me, I don't remember the full story. It might have been her daughter or her friend or her niece or something like that. But she asked somebody to wrap some of the dolls for a nativity display. And apparently this is what the person thought a nativity display should look like. Like the mummy. So I'm going to go ahead and liberate him so that we can take a closer look. Okay, so he actually had pants on underneath that, which is great because um, extra clothes for for my dolls. Very happy about that. But I don't know which Ken this is. I just know I don't have him. I don't have very many from this era. Um, but he has like dark blonde hair with like lighter blonde near the hairline. He's very handsome. He has blue eyes um, and he's in pretty good shape. He's not broken or anything. He was just wrapped up. So very excited to have him. And then I don't remember which doll this is. I do have one of her, but mine doesn't have her earrings. Um, it's not a Barbie. I want to say it's like Miss America or something like that. I could be totally wrong. I think her, the character's name is Blair. I don't know. It was a doll that was made a while ago, um, but she is wearing a Barbie outfit that I was very interested in. So I got her. I got all five of them for $15, so $5 a piece. Not like an astounding deal, but still like better than what certain people were asking. I did go back to the ladies booth, by the way, who was selling like regular, not very clothed, unboxed dolls for $14.99 that were like from 2017 that were like not fashionistas, nothing special at all. Went back to her, didn't buy anything from her, just saw more of the same overpriced stuff. I would have bought a ton from her if she would have been willing to barter, but last time she gave me 10% off of a like Barbie color reveal doll priced for $12. So um, I went back to her, didn't get anything, but I got these for $5 a piece and she's in pretty good condition. Her hair needs a little bit of work. I do believe that it is nylon. I can't really tell because um, it's just needs to be washed and it'll be easier for me to tell um, once I do so. But she has her earrings, which is great. And she has this Barbie um, jumpsuit, which I need um, and she's in good condition. And then lastly, I got a We Free We Three Friends doll. Sorry, I could not speak for a minute, but I don't have this one. I don't know if she's um, which one she is, but I only have two, and I don't have a blonde one. I have a redhead and an African American one, but I don't have a blonde one. And so she was the last one, and I was like, why not? So I got her. She's wearing a dress that does not belong to her. Doesn't even want to stay up. She's having major wardrobe malfunctions, but that's okay. Um, she's in good shape. Her hair is like pulled up, unfortunately, um, but that's okay. It's not cut or anything and it's in good shape. Um, she's a little bit dirty, but not too bad. I'm just excited to finally have all three of at least the We Three Friends, even if they might not be from the same line. But that is the last doll um, for this haul. All in all, I would definitely say that it was a pretty good trip, considering that a lot of the stuff um, was you know, still there or the same stuff, um, but it's only been a few months later. If you're able to help me identify any of the dolls, please let me know in the comments. And um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, and I will also link the, um, the vlog in case you missed it. I'll link the vlog in the description below and also in a card because it's really fun. I get to kind of take you around a little bit to places that you have seen and also different booths that you haven't. And um, if you want to see more of this kind of video, I will also link um, a Rescue Dolls Haul playlist in the description and in a card. And I would highly recommend you stay for part two because I have a giant miscellaneous 
box full of very disheveled 80s and 90s Barbies, clothes, accessories, you name it. I have no idea what's in it, but I'm going to be going through it on camera with you guys. So be sure to stay tuned for part two. And if you want to see more of my videos, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.